Explorers. We've stopped off of Old Route 66 in Albuquerque, New Mexico at a uh, spot that's pretty uh, interesting looks like from the outside and what I hear about is the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. We'll be walking through it and I'll do as much videography as I can but I'll have to kind of keep it quiet and I'll take some pictures along the way but uh, let's see what we can find. Um, uh, nuclear energy is very fascinating and it's got its origins a long, long time ago. So we'll see what it's all about. So hang loose. I'm not going to do much commentary on this video. I'm just going to kind of show you pictures. And I may overdo a or overlay a commentary uh, after I edit the video. I need to kind of keep it quiet. It's pretty busy in here tonight. Oh, the bomb site. A lot of the old machines that were used in the early days, as we see here. Old oscilloscope in the background. Very, very old camera. An Allegheny model. You know, baby, the old Zenith radio, uh, circa 1941. You know, it's one of these type radios. I'll say something that actually hits pretty close to home with uh, with my family. Uh, here it talks about Oak Ridge, Tennessee. The Y-12 plant, the K-25 plant. I had kin folks that worked at all of these plants. Very, very interesting next kin plant also. Some of those are still in operation today. They've kind of changed what they do, but they're still in basic operation there in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, which is a suburb of uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. Welcome back into a little artist area here. A lot of nice paintings. You know, walls. And some of these are absolutely just gorgeous. Something I'll be seeing on my way back on the Route 66 journey. I saw it coming through on the interstate, but I didn't actually stop. But the St. Louis Arch looks like. Absolutely gorgeous paintings and pictures.
This is a neat one right here. Evolution of gaming. I'm going to skim around and let you see the evolution of gaming controllers here. Trestle Bridge. That's a beautiful artist area. Here's one that's really uh, clear in my eye. Here's a couple of them. Mormon Road Sunrise. And also Winter Steam locomotive boat train going through the uh, mountains in the snow. Very, very early atomic bombs here. Old glory all tethered and torn. Old uh, military uh, Plymouth vehicle here. Very, very cool. Another little, uh, it's like a limousine. I think they go wide and they angle view on this. And it's gargantuan. Huge. This is the first atomic device ever tested. In the name of Gadget. We're walking into danger, it looks like. I'm not sure what we've got beyond these curtains, but we're fixing to find out. The movie portraying the first atomic blast test. Another big huge missile we're coming up on here, folks. That old Admiral TV. Talks about shelters, nuclear shelters. And yeah, here's some of the uh, goods that have been used to uh, survive the attack. Survival biscuits, and crackers, and drinking water. And MPF, multi purpose food. Talks about the old civil defense days. You can look on a lot of the old buildings in downtown sections, and there's still civil defense emblems on it where it would have been a bomb shelter. <laughs> many, many different incarnations of nuclear bombs and nuclear missiles. Even a uh, diorama of a USS Ohio nuclear power submarine. A 
on up on uh, medical or medical medicine uh, treatment used for nuclear poisoning, I guess. Organic plutonium in a can. <laughs> That's interesting. Even a toy Geiger counter from back in the day. A game, board game of some kind. Uranium Rush. An exciting new electric game for the family. And even books dealing with it. Don't know quite how the DeLorean ties into a nuclear museum, but it's a pretty cool touch. Back to the future, ain't got nothing on the joint here. Even a uh, Formula One car. Uh, Boy Scout information, official BSA Atomic Energy Merit Badge. I think I actually uh, earned that myself back in the Boy Scouts. <coughs> Even uh, Jimmy Neutron Toys, Simpson uh, Radioactive Toy here. about solar energy <coughs> all sorts of hands-on demonstrations that you can do here pretty cool twelve thousand volts high voltage on this uh, display here Jacob's ladder Talks about how the high voltage uh, traveling arc goes up the uh, two wires and splits off at the top. Yes, we got Einstein here. He's uh, he's pretty cool. What's the fastest thing in the uh, universe? What is the fastest thing in the universe? Ah, uh, what a good question, Kinder. What do you think it is? A racehorse? Is it a cheetah? How about a supersonic jet? Good guesses, but no. The fastest thing in the universe is ta-da, light. And I bet you thought light. it was a cheetah. Light travels 670 million miles. <laughs> All sorts of things that they've collected over the years. And the periodic symbol for uranium is a U. It's 92 uranium. Another complete section of the museum. Looks like a nuclear reactor. Yeah, we're in a, a reactor section. It talks about the different styles and different types of reactors coming from the uh, south and Tennessee Valley Authority. We got several nuclear plants on site out the uh, south providing power. Even a very, very nice uh, ship here. Renewable and non renewable energy sources. Model trains, army trains too, pretty cool. Just 45 miles outside of Phoenix, Arizona, 
Power Verde Generating Station has been working to meet the Southwest's electricity needs while innovating for a sustainable energy future for more than 30 years. In fact, since 1992, Power Verde has been the nation's largest energy source. Diverse energy sources, uh, conservation of the environmental stewardship, distribution and transmission of power, renewable resources, wind and solar. This is a monstrosity of something right here. <clears throat> and we are going to work our way outside in the cold. There's a uh, real nice display of some things outside. So bear with me, we'll find the magic glass door that lead us outside of that. found a magic glass door and you see what we're looking at now well, we got huge missiles airplanes turret of a uh, submarine air force uh, jets prop jets fighter jets any number of different things and I hope they all uh, Windscreen is covering the microphone well enough where you hear me explore. We're not going to be out here very long. It's awfully cool. Please walk over to this one Air Force jet for you. This is a gargantuan B-52 Strato Fortress, Air Force Systems Command. Just look at the size of that. Imagine the destruction that could do. There's actually a missile that would be strapped on the underside of the wing in the event it needed to be done. Walk over and look. Designed by the Boeing Company and look at the size of those wheels and tires absolutely huge standing under here explorers hope you're enjoying this little tour i think i'm gonna go ahead and shut her off hopefully this is giving you a little bit of a taste of the uh, atomic uh, museum here in albuquerque new mexico if you're ever out in the area i'd highly recommend on a warm day to come out and check it out well worth it very friendly had no problems with me videoing or taking pictures hope you enjoyed this brief tour and everyone have a great day signing out